Hi right guys, hope you're doing well. Just before we get into this, just want, to, uh, just want to quickly say that my circumstances have changed a bit since, well, three months ago since my last video. So what I'll be doing is I'll be making content for this Christmas and then I'll probably disappear again. But I appreciate your continued support and I hope you enjoy. So since I've been gone, there's been a major update on Verdun and Tannenberg. Um, and we finally got the cross-platform, which a lot of us have wanted for a while now. The cross-platform sort of um, idea I've, I've suggested loads of times and I think I've, I've said it on, on videos before, I've said it on live streams and I've seen it on um, Discord and things, people have suggested it for a while and they've finally implemented it into the game and it's, it, it comes at a time that it's um, really quite needed. So there was about, I think it was, it was probably about two years ago <clears throat> where the game was pretty much at a loose end, uh, the, the game was filled with bugs. There was like six people playing Verdun at the time, and that's when we needed cross-platform. We didn't get it, and luckily we've pushed past that stage. The release of Tannenberg came out, more players came to the game. But then the numbers went down again, but then they finally implemented this. Now, the numbers still aren't great, even with cross-platform, but they're enough that you can have a good game, that you can enjoy it. And, and, and I mean, since I've been back, I've not had a game where it's been just bots or anything. There's still a lot of guys playing, guys from Xbox. Uh, from what I can tell, there seems to be more Xbox players than... Uh, PlayStation players, which is interesting, um, but it's a really, really good thing, and I think the key thing to sort of take away from this all more than anything is that the devs are actually listening to the um, the, the players, and it's something you 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 never get really anymore with with game. And I feel like a lot of the devs look over look over the fans, look over you know what what suggestions we make, and if they've listened to this, that means they might listen to uh, more future uh, future advice that we give them. Um, like, for example, when I suggested making the game free for a month on the PlayStation free games list just to get some more players into the game. Uh, but, yeah, I, I mean, I've see, in the past, I've gave the devs for World War One game series a lot of shit for not listening. And that was probably about two years ago now where I really I, I really sort of lost my temper with them. And I said, look, you know, there's no changes being made, but they're starting to make these changes. They're improving the game constantly. And uh, you've got to give them credit for it. And I think the game is in the best state of both. Well, Verdun at least is in the best state it's been in since it first came out, in my opinion. And now it's got this reboot where we can have cross-platform. So if you've got mates on Xbox, you can meet up and you can play with them on Verdun. And you can use the game chat thing. So the game, you can actually have game chat with both Xbox and PlayStation players, which is, I think it's a great idea and I'm really glad they've done it. As I said before, though, we need to keep looking for where they can make improvements, where things aren't working, and we need to suggest it to the devs. If they are now listening, that's a, you know, that's a great thing. So if you guys have experienced any problems, issues, bugs, um, or you just simply don't like cross-platform, put it in the comments below. I normally answer every comment usually, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Cheers.